This is lesson four of a four lesson group on the uh, standard uh, Windows user interface, especially the uh, part of the interface that handles interaction with the user. And the three main uh, types of controls that handle that are menu strip, tool strip, and finally context menus. And a context menu is what appears when you like pop right click a uh, blank part of a form and uh, a menu pops up. Quite often you have different context menus for different areas and whatnot but we'll just have one context menu for the whole form. This is our superhero application we've de been developing over the last three lessons and it's got a menu uh, strip, a uh, tool strip and now we want to put in a, a context uh, menu strip. Or so down in the menus and toolbars uh, section of the toolbox, select uh, context menu strip. You can either double click on it or drag it over the form. Let's drag it over the form. It doesn't matter where you drag it really. You'll notice the context menu strip 1 appears in the uh, component tray at the bottom of the screen. And why don't we go over and give this a more meaningful name to begin with. Call it a uh, CM Heroes maybe. CM is the Hungarian notation for context menu. It's actually just what I use. I don't know that there's actually a standard uh, but it's good to use some kind of standard even if it's your own so that people can maintain your code a lot better and you notice uh, right under the uh, menu strip there's now a context menu strip that looks a lot like a menu strip you can have a type here item where you can type things in and the difference is this doesn't actually appear on the the screen when you run the application it only appears when you right click so we'll add the uh, same five hero names to the context menu strip. Uh, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. flash and as usual you double click on the uh, item in order to go into the handler for the item first though we want to give them good names uh, the default names are the pitch so call this uh, CMNU for context menu item uh, Superman and I'll give the others the same kind of names while I'm in pause mode. Alright, I've given all uh, five uh, context menu items uh, meaningful names, the last one being CMNU Flash for uh, context menu Hungarian notation. To uh, actually put code behind these buttons or these item selections you double click on them as usual. So I double click on Superman. And that takes me into a routine called uh, CMNU Superman underscore click, which is the click event for this context menu item. If we go up to uh, TSB Superman click, which is the event handler for the uh, click event of the tool strip button Superman. You remember we copied a reference to the uh, menu strip uh, event handler. If you're wondering what that weird thing that just popped up was, it was my uh, Norton uh, antivirus scan that it comes up at 8 o'clock, whether I wanted to or not. And 
and uh, anyhow to continue we have a call to the uh, menu item event handler for click uh, from the tool strip bar uh, click handler so what we want to do is just copy that call since we only want the code in one place so I'll copy this call by click handler so what we want to do is just copy that call since we only want the code in one place so I'll copy this call by selecting it right clicking and selecting copy and now I go down to the uh, event handler for the context menu Superman click event put the cursor in that uh, function right click and click paste and now this also called the uh, tool strip or the menu item uh, click event so even though we have three different ways of uh, doing the same thing they all vector back to the same function so we only need to change the code in one place right now I'll do the same thing for the other uh, for uh, context menu items in pause mode. All right, I've added the same uh, technique of calling the menu strip click uh, event handler for each of the uh, context menu uh, event handlers, click event handlers. So CMNU Batman click calls Batman tool strip menu item underscore click and it passes the uh, sender and the e object and event args arguments uh, straight through to the uh, the menu strip routine so the codes only in one place even though three different things call it uh, which is good programming practice and now if we compile and run this program we'll notice one thing we'll notice it doesn't work <laughs> And the reason for that is you need to you need to select the form and then come down to a property called context menu strip. And right now there is no context menu strip associated with this form. So basically you right click and nothing happens. So what we need to do is select this, go to the drop down and select the CM heroes, which aren't we glad we gave that a meaningful name now. And that now brings up the context menu when you right click. So we'll go over and we'll do a save of all the code we've written. And then we'll do a start debugging, which does a compile and a run. And the program comes up. And there we see our tool st strip and our menu strip. But there's no context menu strip because it's totally. Uh, nothing there. It's sort of like the singularity of a black hole. It has a lot of power but there's actually absolutely no size to it. So we right click and there we see our context menu. And If we click Superman, uh, the Superman picture appears. Click Batman, Batman appears, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and Flash which means I managed to get the code right. Well that completes the uh, how to write a context menu and it completes all four of the uh, four lessons in the group of how to design a standard Windows interface. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with it the codes probably fairly complex so I'd replay these lessons as many times as you need to to really get the techniques down and always do it yourself. You know, if you don't do it yourself, you have something I call programming delusion or you've seen somebody else do it, so you're sure you know how to do it, you know. Until you actually do it yourself, you don't really know you know how to do it. In fact, there's a good chance you don't know how to do it and you're completely deluding yourself. I know I've done that a number of times. Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I'll see you the next chapter. Uh, tell them remember to focus and learn a lot.